Are you a puppy? You're a puppy. I'm a puppy. You're a puppy. We're all puppies. Anyway, um, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at my awesome Xiaomi Mi 9. How I turn this into a Pixel device. Let's go ahead and take a look. Hey guys, so this is my Xiaomi Mi 9. Uh, it's not running MIUI, MyUI, whatever you want to call it. I hate MyUI. Um, so I rooted it, I unlocked the boot, sorry, I unlocked the bootloader, I rooted it, and installed Pixel Experience ROM, right? The only thing that's not working is Netflix, because safety net doesn't pass, pass. I think if you don't install Magisk, uh, Netflix should work. I'm gonna have to keep testing. But um, yeah, I've been watching way too much Netflix, so Netflix and chill. I actually don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> so it's sort of gets me off Netflix, which is really nice. But I'll try to figure out how to make Netflix work. Um, I've got Majisk Manager for Root. And I think Safety Net was passing earlier, and now it's not passing. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna have to figure this out. Maybe the newer versions um, will have it working. So this is a complete Pixel Experience ROM, which pretty much gives you all the Pixel Experience launcher. Um, it's almost like a Pixel Pixel 3. It is like, it's pretty much like a Pixel 3. You get all of the, uh, it's running Android 9.0. I mean, you get the dark mode. I've got everything in dark, which is really nice. Saves also battery life. Um, as far as camera, so the installation for this is sort of complicated. So I'll have a tutorial tomorrow or, yeah, hopefully tomorrow, I'll, if I have time, I'll make a tutorial for you guys. Uh, but if you install it right, the camera works and it does come with this crappy AOSB camera. Uh, I don't even use it, but you can go ahead and use, uh, install a Pixel 3 camera, which is really nice. And I've got all three cameras working. Um, so that's the front. If you hold down, then it will switch to the wide angle. Sorry for the mess here. Uh, it's just the weekend here. And uh, you got the regular and also zoom using Google camera. Sorry. Oh, I had it working. Um, I got I gotta mess with it. Um, so Pixel 3 camera, very good. Also night sight is working, which is probably the most important. So you can get that awesome night sight working. It's just like a Pixel 3. This is actually way faster than my Pixel 3a XL, which the process is really slow. Um, I only paid $450 for this, and that's almost the same cost as a Pixel 3a XL. But you get the latest Snapdragon 855. You get pretty. You get three more cam. You get three cameras, all right? Which is pretty decent. Um, so I think this is a really great way to go. And let me go ahead and show you. You can also install Mui camera using uh, this ANX camera, which is a Magisk module. Which I'll show you how to do that also. Um, so let me go ahead and show you. So you get, oops, you get a full camera here. So you can use now Mui camera with this ROM, so you don't lose any of the abilities of uh, having a Mui ROM, all right? Which is really nice. Um, the only thing that's not working is uh, portrait mode. It will just air out. So if you absolutely need portrait mode, then you might want to stick with Mui. But I feel like, I don't know, portrait mode, I'm not too big on it. And also you can go ahead and use the portrait mode on the Google camera, which works just fine. Let's go ahead and test it out real quick here. Let me just, now. So you can get portrait mode that way. So it shouldn't be a problem. And yeah, it's, it's working. And yeah, I, I really like it. Performance is really fast. I've had zero problems with it. Um, you get all of the uh, battery life is very, very good. Um, there are little funky things like the the the, uh, the display. Uh, if you set it on auto, it will just sort of just put it full. But I just use manual. Um, calls work good. Now the thing with uh, Xiaomi Mi 9, it doesn't. I'm using T-Mobile SIM card and it doesn't support all of the uh, bands, all the new bands. So we've got to go. If I go to the beach down here, sometimes I lose signal. But overall, 4G LTE being pretty still pretty good, pretty usable. Um, yeah, I think it's a very good alternative to buying actual Pixel 3a XL. Or if you just want a, you know, uh, affordable phone with the latest Snapdragon 855, I think this is a great way to go. And the uh, only thing missing with this 
phone is um, micro SD card. It's a beautiful phone. Sorry, I turned this into sort of a mini review here. Uh, I really love Xiaomi's stuff because they make everything budget, you know, everything's budget. One thing I really like is that you can unlock the bootloader and install a custom ROM, which is why I'm able to do this. This is why rooting is awesome. Then you can get a cheap Xiaomi phone, turn it into Pixel, and boom shakalaka. Um, it is super fast, really love it. Um, I got rid of the notch using the developer options because I just didn't like the notch. You can leave the notch on if you want. Um, I've got green um, colors there. You can customize your colors. I'm gonna go ahead and mess with probably a couple more ROMs. Now this is like a beta, beta version, all right? So if you wait around maybe like a month, you'll have everything working. Oh, also another thing that's not working is fingerprint sensor, sorry. It, it sort of works, but it doesn't really work. So I don't really recommend it. But face unlock works really well. And let me show you how to set that up real quick. Um, that's just part of Google system. So go into security and location, go to smart lock. And uh, here you can go ahead and set up trusted face, right? And uh, you can actually set up multiple faces. It's not super secure, but it's still fast enough for me to use it uh, without fingerprint sensor. And yeah, really like it. I highly recommend it. Again, I'll have a full video on all the modification I did, um, but this is the way to go. Mui, I just, I just hate Mui. It just, it's just too iPhone-like and um, this is way faster. I'll do an Antutu test too soon, but highly recommend it. But this is how I turned my uh, cheap Xiaomi Mi 9 into a Pixel 3. Uh, well, it's even better than Pixel 3 because you got three cameras on the back. Um, you got zoom, wide angle, and regular. Mui, sorry, Xiaomi makes pretty good stuff nowadays, so I really highly recommend it. Yeah, so I'll have a full modification for it. But for right now, for those of you who want to get this ROM, first thing you'll have to do is unlock the bootloader and also um, basically unlock your bootloader and install twerp. Just follow the root guide that I made a couple days ago and get to that point. And once you get to that point, um, the rest is pretty easy to do. Um, but yeah, I just want to share this with you guys because um, I just want to share it with you guys. And if you, if you guys like this video, uh, do let me know. If you want to see the actual process of me installing the ROM, definitely subscribe. That's going to be my next video. Have a great day. I really love this case also, which I talked about. It's got a magnetic thing for your car vent, a ring that goes around. Really love this. I'll put a link to um, where I got this on Amazon also. Have a great day. And as always, stay <laughs> on Android. Click here to subscribe. 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 To subscribe, to subscribe, to subscribe, to subscribe, to subscribe, to subscribe.